you're en route to become a scuba diver or just became a scuba diver and you want to buy some gear but don't know where to start. No worries, we got you. We've made a full guide to what to buy first and where you can save some money on. So let's dive in. The first thing you want to get your hands on is a proper scuba mask. This is the best investment you can do right from the get-go because this will increase your uh, comfort greatly. Imagine yourself going on a scuba dive in the Caribbean. You pay 50, 60 bucks and you get a cheap rental mask which doesn't fit you that well and fogs up during the whole dive and basically ruins your dive. This is easily prevented by buying your own mask which also costs 50 or 60 bucks and will save all of your dives and you never have the chance to get a crappy rental mask ever again. Not sure which mask to buy? We've made a complete video about it, how to choose the perfect mask for you and you can find it right here. And while you're at it, also get a snorkel. You might say I don't use a snorkel during diving, that's fine, but you will use it a lot during your trips because you go snorkeling off the beach. And remember, if you want to use your snorkel also with scuba diving, get one with a flexible lower part because this will hang next to your face when you use it with scuba diving instead of a fixed one which will always be in your way when you put the regulator in your mouth. Budget-wise, you don't want to be cutting corners when you buy a scuba mask. Just get the one which fits the best. Price should be the last consideration when you buy a scuba mask. Next up are dive computers, and this is more of an economical choice to buy this second. Operations tend to charge a lot of money for renting out a dive computer. It's really cheap to buy one. Between $200, $300, you get a fine dive computer. Despite popular belief, a cheaper dive computer isn't less safe. You're paying for extra options like a color display, a transmitter or a electric compass. We've made a list of the best five beginner dive computers, which also happens to be quite cheap and you can find it right here. The next thing we would buy is a wetsuit and this is from a hygienic standpoint. If you get a rental suit, just imagine how many people have dove in it before you did. There's a big chance that one of them might have taken a leak in the suit. Next important thing is the fit. A rental suit doesn't have the proper fit for you because they're all standard sizes. Um, the most common reason for people to stop diving is because they are cold on the water and a proper fitted wetsuit can prevent this. Also important is the thermal protection. Uh, you do need to know where you want to use the suit. Uh, different circumstances require different thicknesses of neoprene. Um, we've made a complete guide of this on our website and the link is in the description. You can find it there. Budget-wise, you can save some money on suits. Um, you don't have to buy the most expensive suit right away. Um, there are objects which are going to be used, so in five or six years you might need a new wetsuit anyway if you dive a lot, and then you can buy a more expensive one. You can't really go wrong with fins um, unless you have a disability with your legs and you can't do a full fin kick. Don't get split fins because they tend to be terrible in currents. If you're on a budget, this is a great piece of equipment where you can save some money. There's no need to buy a $200 expensive fin. It doesn't impact your safety at all. So it's really great to save some money here. Next up is the BC, and you might want to spend as much as you can on a BCD. One, this is a very important piece of equipment. Most dive accidents happen on the surface and you want to stay on the surface when something happens to you and your BC is gonna help you with that. Also, you get a great deal of comfort back from your BC when you get the right one. If you want to know which BC is right for you, we've got a clip about it and it's right there. Yeah, you know the phone. It's right there. And it's right there. Hey. Next up are regulators. Same like with the BCD, you want to spend as much of your budget on the regulator as you can. Some types of regulator are better for certain circumstances so it's also important to know where you're going to be diving. If you are diving in cold water get a cold water resistant regulator otherwise you can go a little bit cheaper. Despite common belief there are no terrible regulators on the market anymore. Uh, the regulations are very strict. If you use your regulator for the circumstances it has intended for then you should have no problems. If you have any questions left about buying gear, leave them in the comments down below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and buy a t-shirt with a great shark on it and save a shark. See you the next time. Buy a shirt with the shirt of a shark.